Hey hi hello everyone it's Durs and in this episode we're going to be making a villager breeder and now that may sound a little bit inhumane and I would agree that it very much is but let's just get started. So I created an underground enclosure just out of the city so that none of my other villagers would see what's happening but now that this was complete I had to go get some villagers into the enclosure. Now the best way to do this is surprisingly by boat so then I got my boat and headed into the city. Now no one was willing to come i don't know how they knew what was happening but i, I they just did not want to come so i had to bring out the axe you know i had to get a little physical with him you know but then he came out but it was a struggle to get him inside the boat after some time i i i tried to show him that it would be not bad so i got in showed it showed him around he was looking but was not very interested eventually i got him to get in and even though he got in, I still was struggling to get to the enclosure that I made. Because in the city, there's these grass blocks that are not, I guess, mowed and some that are that are mowed. So I was getting caught on these green grass blocks and I did not know what to do. So then eventually I just started making, I started digging up the ground as I was moving. And this took so long just to get to this point. And I, I realized that I, I should probably check to see how much further I have to go before I actually reach the enclosure. So I got out here and I checked and man was I far. This would have taken like another 30 minutes to get here. So I just decided to let him go. This one's free. So I, I had to find a better way to get up there. But it was nighttime, so I went to sleep. But before I get got there, there's two skeletons in my house, which I don't know how they got in. I still don't understand, but I defeated them and went to sleep. The next morning, I decided to take this man into the cage. He's been coming in and out of my house constantly over the past five episodes. So I'm sorry to say, but Bartholomew, you're going into the cage, brother. I eventually got him there in like, I think under like three minutes. So that was pretty good for me. And he is my first prisoner. Once I got Bartholomew into the cage, it was time for me to find another villager to come in here. And this time, it was actually pretty easy. It took me less than 30 seconds to get him in the boat. And then once they got in, it was just a straight shot down to the enclosure. And I just had to go down a couple of stairs. Now once we got close, I just had to break these two blocks and we were in. That was probably the best time I've ever had trying to do this. Now before they could do anything, I made them a farm and also I put down a composter so that one of them could become a farmer and start harvesting his food so then they could both live happily and peacefully. I then also added a couple of beds because that is a very important part of this process apparently. Now once all this was done, I started heading home for the day because I did quite a lot of work and once I got in, I got hit with the cheese again, oh my god, a creeper, oh, and it was about to blow up, but as Gwen Stefani would say, I made a sweet escape. I then went to this house hoping that there was a bed I could just sleep off the night, because I did not want to fight this creeper right now, but there was no bed, so I had to go back, and I just thought, might as well get rid of this thing now and get some good sleep, so I ran back, and he's right in front of my house right now, so I was like, what do I do, what, what's the plan here? So then I got his attention. I, I came up here and now he's following me, brought him back down and boom, quick attack. And he blows up in front of my house, but nothing's, nothing's damaged except for the land, but that's fine. I then went crazy and put a bunch of torches all around my house. I think I had 40 torches, literally all of them are all gone. I put one everywhere so there's no darkness in my house. I even went up to the roof and went ham with the torches. It was absolutely bonkers, brother. With the house all lit up now, I went to go check on my villagers and I have seemed to interrupt them, which I apologize greatly for, but I wanted to give them some privacy, but also not really. So I created a glass, a little glass ceiling. So they think they have a little privacy with an extra layer but they really don't. At this point, over a week has passed in Minecraft days and no babies have been produced. So I started to focus on the other villagers in my town and I started giving them jobs. Here I put down a grindstone to hopefully make a weaponsmith and it 
actually worked. As you can see, this guy right here is the weaponsmith, and he had some pretty good trades. Now if I can upgrade him to master, I might be able to get some diamond stuff. Here I put down a stone cutter. I'm not sure what job that will produce, but we'll figure that out later. I then took Bojack for a quick gallop around town, and then finally we stopped to see if our villagers had done any business. And surprisingly, they did not. Nothing, nothing was made. No babies were created. And that was quite disappointing. I then dropped off Bojack at a stable and made my way into town where I could trade with some of these farmers. Now both these guys had the same trades for wheat and carrots so with this guy I traded uh, my wheat which I had a bunch of and with the other guy I traded my carrots and at the end of it all I had about 17 emeralds and if I add that with the ones I already had in my house I got 23 total. And with that, I'll end off the episode here. No kids have been born yet, so I think I really messed something up, or maybe it really takes nine months. We'll see. But if you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. Okay, bye!